I've always been fascinated by reptiles, particularly snakes. During my time in Belize, I conducted research and educational programs on them, and what I realized was that snake species found in Belize are completely misunderstood. There's an entire mythology that circulates from person to person that they're all venomous or they're all dangerous, and that's just not the case. In Belize, there are approximately 61 species of snake, only 9 of which are venomous and dangerous to humans. And nearly all of them are easy to identify because they're vipers or coral snakes. Even still, completely harmless snakes are killed because of the misconception that they're dangerous. I'm hoping to clear a bit of those misconceptions up in this video by showing and explaining the more common species found in Belize. start by looking at one of the more venomous species in Belize, the fer de lance. And the first thing that it's doing is trying to get away from me. Following right behind it, it has all the opportunities in the world to come after me, but it's not. Even if I bring it towards me, it's completely uninterested in uh, any kind of confrontation with me. Uh, these snakes are extremely misunderstood, uh, especially when it comes to people hearing about bite victims because their venom is very nasty. Um, but they're ambush predators, and most bites happen either by complete accident or it just like while they're hunting trying to strike at things and get their their nutrition or it just happens because people are trying to kill the animal and they're getting too close to its head where uh, where the animal can strike and uh, tag the person so if you see right now it's it's extremely docile snake it's not trying to to harm me I'm not trying to harm it just kind of hanging around. Let's follow it for a little while. You can see it already blending in with the leaf litter and everything. The fer de lance is a primarily terrestrial species, although it can also climb trees as shown in the footage. They're a nocturnal snake, and their diet consists of lizards, frogs, birds, and rodents. Fertilants have a potent hemotoxic venom, which is dangerous to humans. Interestingly enough, in Belize, Mayan settlements were built in locations with dense populations of fertilants as a protective boundary to ward off intruders. Another more commonly found venomous species in Belize is the coral snake. This species is extremely inoffensive, though bites do occur, usually from handling or stepping on one when it's sheltering in footwear. Coral snakes are a terrestrial nocturnal snake. Their primary diet consists of other snakes. They have a strong neurotoxic venom that is dangerous to humans. In Belize, the rhyme red and yellow kills a fellow doesn't always work. The best way to identify them in Belize is by the tip of the tail, which will almost always be yellow and black banded, void of any red bands. Coral snakes also have several mimics in Belize. On the right we can see the venomous coral snake, while on the left we see the three harmless mimics, a king snake, a coffee snake, and a false coral. Now that you've learned about the more dangerous snake species, it's time to look at a few of the harmless species that you can find in Belize.
ones have that very prominent banding. I have an older individual in the bucket right now. And you can really see the difference. There's, a, there's no banding at all. It's, it's just like a flat brown. And uh, they actually have a white lip usually, the juveniles underneath. But this one, it, it stays uniform yellow throughout. Let's see this guy, let me see his lip. He's grumpy. Here's a few more of the common snake species you may come across in Belize. My only hope is that this video provides a better understanding of Belizean snake species. The best way to combat fear is through education, and I truly believe that this is the only method of conservation for these amazing animals.